the Australian National University College of Engineering and Computer Sciences features world-class capabilities and high-quality engineering facilities. Hosting system dynamics and control systems, this room is home to a variety of instruments produced by educational control products. They allow comprehensive sets of experiments in the fields of controls, dynamics and vibrations. This lab is used for the digital systems and microprocessors and embedded systems and real-time digital signal processing courses, as well as the power systems and power electronics course. In addition to the standard lab instruments, there are field programmable gate array development boards, microcontroller development boards, and various small robot cars, spiders, and arms to support the courses. For the power course, there are DC motors, synchronous motors, variable frequency drives, eddy current dynamometers, and various loads for power quality experiments. This lab is primarily used in our compulsory first and second year electrical and electronic engineering courses. The lab contains workstations with computers and traditional instruments such as power supplies, function generators, multimeters, oscilloscopes and digital trainer units. This allows integrated learning paradigms. Students can do theory, simulations and experiments all at the same time. Since 2018, we have augmented the lab with modern MOKU instruments, which facilitate remote, real-time labs with multiple instruments incorporated into one networked device. This lab contains telecommunications instructional modelling systems, TIMS, used for practical work on basic building blocks of digital communications, modulation techniques and signal processing. The lab is primarily used by third and fourth year courses in the Electronics and Communication System major. The TIMS modules bring to life static block diagrams found in signal processing and communications textbooks, allowing students to actively explore the waveforms on an oscilloscope. Engineering thermodynamics and fluid mechanics and heat transfer are taught using these lab apparatus, allowing the students a hands-on approach to learning and data collection. With low-risk equipment, this room is available 24-7 for all students and staff to work on both their private and coursework projects. An inclusive and cooperative culture is fostered with free and fun hands-on workshops run by the staff. Students within core project courses are encouraged to use the facilities available to model and prototype concepts as part of the system's engineering design process. The Electronics Workshop is a continuation of the Maker Spaces available to all comers and hosting more specialised equipment. This fully equipped machine shop has the only five axis mill on campus and, similar to the Maker Spaces, it is available to all comers. Being a high risk environment, it is more closely controlled, but training is provided for anyone interested in spending the time to learn how to use it well. The first of its kind in Canberra. This metal additive printer is managed by the machine shop staff and, as with all our manufacturing equipment, is accessible to interested people. The student-run ANU rocketry team have been experimenting with a rocket engine design that would be hard to manufacture in any other way. Students expressed a desire for projects relating to plastics recycling, so this room has adapted to meet that demand with granulating and extruding the primary use of the room. It is also a space used by the rocketry team in laying up their composite rocket components. With all hours access, the design studio is a popular work and social area. The studio has a kitchen, a student association room and is in close proximity to labs and tutorial spaces. Student-led projects provide a practical application of systems engineering in bringing a complex vehicle together and racing it. Students from all the colleges work together in managing sponsorship, finances, team events, design, construction and racing. In their first year, the student-led rocketry team impressed everyone by coming second in the launch competition. Since then, they have been innovating new engines and payloads which will launch them into new categories of the competition.
The ground floor of this building is dedicated to enhancing the experience of students studying in the College of Engineering and Computer Science. Large and adaptable lecture and lab spaces, project rooms, wet labs and student chill zones with amenities are all in their final stages and will be in use from semester 2, 2021. In particular, the space will support project-based work in systems engineering core courses and encourage peer learning across projects and year levels. 